big tiger shark. Attack. That's a little tiger shark face. Yeah, those are babies. Talking about our advancing shark science in 2025, we had two really successful research seasons. One was focused on the overwintering area down in the southeastern United States, and one was in partnership with the Tan Cook Island Marine Field Station in Nova Scotia, Canada. We tagged in the winter period eight sharks of three different species, white, dusky, and tiger. It was the first time we tagged pregnant tiger sharks, so that is another interesting animal that we added to the tracker this year. And in Canada, we had great success over two two-week-long trips, tagging and releasing 16 white sharks during that time period. which are going to help us provide key insights into this critical population, including different fine scale aspects of their habitat use, their migratory periods, and how they might differ by life stages. It was interesting going with kind of a different approach this year across the different seasons, using the small boat in the winter time, trying to grab these smaller weather windows so you could get samples across many different months. Well, and it led us to also the dusky shark, which I think it's easy to kind of brush over in the midst of all these white sharks. Dusky sharks are one of those species that really suffered some critical declines along with the white sharks in the western North Atlantic and we're starting to see some early signs of them re-emerging and recurring. So it's a positive sign, but we know very little about their movements and habitat use. We're starting to see some real success with our, our abundance numbers. Big year on advancing shark science this year.